Susan, thank you so much for being here with us today on a heart talk. We have Susan Davis with Code Prep here with us today, and we are at the IMISH conference, which is the International Medical Simulation Healthcare Conference in Orlando, Florida. So thank you for being here with us today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. It's exciting to be here. This is a really cool place. Yeah. So Susan, we would love for you to tell us just a little bit about yourself. So uh, um, my name is Susan Davis, as we've said. I am a doctor of nursing practice, and I am uh, currently a resuscitation education specialist. That's pivoting, if you will, and bringing a program that I have called Code Prep to the world. So that's why we're so excited to have you with us. We wanna learn more about Code Prep and your new endeavor. Can you tell us about Code Prep? So Code Prep is a really cool program that I created years ago now. I've actually been doing the program for about a decade almost in my local area. Code Prep is a resuscitation education program that is a unit based and uh, it strongly reinforces the first two to six minutes of the cardiac arrest response in, in hospital setting. Well, I started my nursing career uh, in the emergency room in a trauma ER and I'll never forget my very first patient, my very first patient was a cardiac arrest as a brand new nurse in, in a trauma ER. So first patient, very first compression of my life on a human. And um, it was a, it's an incredible experience to, to, to be in that moment and to be able to either keep somebody here on this planet and or not, um, but based on your skills. When I left working in trauma, I went to um, run, I became the director of an American Heart Association program, a large American Heart Association program. So I saw firsthand hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of healthcare providers coming through my classroom every week. How anxious they are about this. They are anxious in the classroom. I, I see them anxious in the um, clinical setting. And I, once again, I went back to that training. So what are, what are we doing that we should be able to have a very smooth, easy response? I mean, it's basic life support. So anyway, that to me, there was a big disconnect. There was a huge gap. So I then witnessed not only firsthand in the clinical setting what we were seeing, and then in the classroom, what we were seeing, and there's this gap, right? Because what all the resuscitation giants are saying that we should recertify, renew every two years, it's not translating to the bedside. That's all I knew. So I made it my mission to, 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 to bridge that gap. And that's what Code Prep was. I realized after studying mock code programs all over the world, that really what I wanted to focus on was a code preparation program. Code Prep was born. So how will Code Prep help healthcare organizations to continuously improve the response to codes? Well, and that's the thing, it's a continuous quality improvement program. So I think uh, one of the big differences between Code Prep and a mock code program is the variables and the length of time leading up to the actual mock code. So there's month long study programs, there's online, so there's three hour programs, two hour programs, and then there have the actual event, which tends to be random quarterly at best, and a random unit, right? And then a debrief of 20 minutes or three hours. Anyway, there are lots of variables. Code Prep is, has a one hour um, digital uh, online course, and then there's a train the trainer course. And after that, it's ongoing. It's built into the calendar. So it's every month, every unit. It's a rotating program. But ideally, Code Prep, the, the cart and the equipment will show up on their unit and it'll stay for an entire week. Everyone is meant to do their drills. Uh, rest your one, two, and three once per shift for that week. And then it rotates from, from like two east to two west and two west to two, through the whole hospital until it rotates again. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? You know, I just think that the resuscitation world, you know, the future of resuscitation is code prep. And, and I almost, it's almost silly saying that because it's like, how could it be like, how could it be so grand and so different? It's not, I'm just taking the science and putting it to work. Yeah. We need to do brief, repetitive, ongoing, hands-on practice with their equipment in their, in their system and in their unit and in, with their teams. And that's what I'm doing. So it's not rocket science. It's, it's less is more uh, approach and it's fun and it really gives confidence and, and ultimately outcomes. It's always about the outcomes.